Meteorologist Dave Downey here with Flash Weather AI. An incredibly sad story out of central Ohio a couple of weeks ago. A man struck by lightning during the last few days of June. He unfortunately died on July 4th, five days after being struck. Our thoughts and prayers with his family and the other person who was also struck and critically injured on June 29th. Let's walk through what Flash AI saw that late afternoon into the early evening and if this is something that could have been prevented with Flash Weather AI's lightning prediction technology. Let's jump into the data right now. Here we are, 6.06 p.m. on Sunday, June 29th. Northland High School on the north side of Columbus denoted with that white star right there. As we mentioned, two were struck. Both were taken to the hospital in critical condition. And sadly, one of those two did end up passing away five days later. The first lightning alert coming at 6.06 .06 with lightning possible across a good chunk of Franklin County. Even with lightning still well outside of Columbus, you've got strikes in Pickaway County, Madison County, up towards Marysville. But the storms aren't even close to Columbus proper just yet. They start getting a little closer here at 624, 18 minutes later, lightning likely alert issued for really the majority of Columbus and Franklin County, including Northland High School. By 642, the warning, lightning warning issued with the nearest strike still at this point over 10 miles away. There's a bunch of strikes there out west towards Hilliard and towards Madison County, and they'll start getting closer there's actually fewer of them here at 702, but the warning remaining in effect, even though the nearest strike is 10 miles away on the dot. Then at 714, strikes more numerous. They're getting closer. They're within three miles. All of these blue dots on the map are cloud to ground lightning strikes and detection systems, old traditional lightning detection systems would finally be going off here. At this point, it's borderline too little too late. Ten minutes later, the warning continues, even though the lightning had actually backed off to the northwest towards Westerville, Dublin, into Delaware County. And then at 726, just two minutes later, as if it looked like the lightning was moving away, Flash continued the lightning warning in an explosion of strikes there across northern Franklin County, including the deadly one at Northland High School. So kind of summary here, what did Flash AI see that Sunday late afternoon into the evening? It saw the strikes coming to Northland High School a full 80 minutes before the first notification of lightning possible coming out. 14 minutes after that, over an hour before the deadly strike, lightning likely for the north side of Columbus. And about 45 minutes before the strike, this is almost too much warning at this point, the lightning warning in effect, and it remained in effect through 730. This is the main takeaway here. The flash warning for lightning came out 32 minutes before traditional detection systems would have issued an alert. And of course, as we mentioned, 44 minutes before the deadly strike itself, just before 730. Flash's number one mission, public safety. We want to end every single lightning fatality injury across the United States. They have been steadily declining over the years, but one is too many, let alone a dozen or more than that. We're really trying to pioneer, and we are pioneering, the next generation in severe weather prediction, and most importantly, safety. Lightning prediction already happening. It's been happening for the past few years. Hail prediction, tornadic prediction, and even more products coming very soon. This is the future of severe weather prediction. This is Flash Weather AI.